Okay, so I want to keep going with this counter-controlled repetition using the while loop. So um, I've got donuts and cupcakes in this example. Create an avalanche of alternating cupcakes and donuts. Fill the screen with 10,000 characters. Okay, so um, I have the donuts and the cupcakes and the emojis and these variables. And um, okay, so this is my counter variable. Okay, this is counter controlled repetition. We need a counter variable. I called this one counter, all right, just to make it really obvious. And then um, let's dive into the loop. This is called the loop header, by the way. This is the loop header. And then this part here, these two lines, it's called the loop body. It's the body of the loop. Okay, so my loop header, it really consists of this, this is counter controlled, so it's, it consists of this relational expression. Well, counter is less than or equal to 5,000. Now, in my instructions, it said fill the screen with 10,000 characters, but I'm printing, with it, with each iteration of the loop, I'm printing two characters, one donut and one cupcake. So I coded my loop to just go 5,000 times, which will be 10,000 characters total. So in any case, um, I'm using an F string this time to just drop the cupcake and the donut in. I mean, there are multiple ways of doing this, but I just, I like the F string. So I just drop the donut and the cupcake into the F string. Uh, once again, I had to do the um, end thing so I, I don't get them all on, you know, a new line override. You have to override that new line um, character. And then very importantly, the um, increment statement. We talked about this in the last video. If you forget this, you are going to throw yourself into an infinite loop. So you definitely want that. Now, in the last video, I had the longhand way. So I, it, sets a, it would be something like this. Counter equals counter plus one. Counter equals whatever's already in there, but just add one to it. That's an increment, right? This is such a common thing to do in coding that there's a shortcut for it which is this. So I, I want you to know that shortcut. So that translates to counter equals counter plus one. It's an increment. Okay. Let's run it. And there they are. Okay. Remember I said in the last video, sometimes online GDB drops the ball on certain emojis, which is fine. This is not really that important. Okay. So there is that. Um, I think I will comment this out. Let's do another one. I've got another counter controlled. Okay. So let's get into the autumn spirit. I'm recording this video in the summertime, but looking forward to the fall. Um, so anyway, I've got a pumpkin and a ghost. Okay, we're going to fill the screen with 20,000 pumpkins and ghosts. So this would be 10,000 of each. So if I'm printing two characters per iteration of the loop, I'll code that loop to go 10,000 times. I'll, that'll give me 20,000 characters total. So in this case, I'm going to use n as my loop counter. Again, this is just a variable that you create. You name it what you want. And, um, you know, uh, in the beginning of the class, I probably said something like, you use good descriptive variable names. Don't use these made up abbreviations. You want your, your code to be self-documenting. Loop counters are a little different. It's very conventional to just use kind of a throwaway variable like n or i or even c for counter. So I want you to get used to that. Um, just, you know, the, the counter variable, the name of it is, is not, not too important. Okay. Any, any programmer can look at that and be like, oh, that's the counter variable. They don't really need a nice, uh, you know, long descriptive name on a counter variable. Okay. So n is, we're going to start counting at one this time. While n is less than or equal to 10,000. Okay, we want 10,000 iterations. I'm just printing one at a time of the pumpkin and the ghost. Okay, again, the increment. Again, watch your indentation. Okay, the body of the loop needs to be flush on the left. Okay, anything that is lined up with this is part of the loop body. Okay, and then one thing I haven't mentioned yet is that don't forget that colon. Okay, that's just part of the basic syntax. Okay, let's print or run that, and there are our pumpkins and ghosts. Okay. Okay, I can, you know what? I've got another one that I want to throw in, in here. Um, let me comment this out. This one is um, pizza-related. Of course. 
So um, look at this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little bit of user input. I'm gonna inject a little bit of user input into this loop. Um, it's not user controlled, okay? Like we were doing in the pretzel program. It's still counter controlled, but the upper limit of the count is dependent upon what the user wants. Okay, so for example. I'm getting input from the user. Welcome to Pizza Express. How many slices would you like? Okay, at this point, the user is going to enter the number of slices. Maybe they're not really that hungry. They just want one slice. Maybe they're having a huge party. They want a hundred slices. Who knows? But whatever they choose or whatever they want is going to go into this num slices variable. Also notice how I'm converting that to an integer as it comes into the program. Okay. So I'm using C as my loop counter. We'll start counting at one. While C is less than or equal to num slices. Okay, you see how that works? So we're going to get ex exactly as many slices as the user wants. So if, 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 they are, if they're not that hungry and they only want one slice, this is really like while C is less than or equal to one. Okay, and then we would just get one iteration because one is less than or equal to one. And then after we increment it, that statement becomes false. We're just going to get the one slice. Or if they're having a big party and they want 100 slices, then that's if while C is less than or equal to 100. And then we're going to get 100 slices. So you can see um, how we can set up our loop to go as many times as you know somebody wants. Don't necessarily have to hard code a number like 5,000 or 10,000 or something like that. Okay, and then of course don't forget the uh, increment. So let's try this. Um, let's say I'm only wanting two slices right now. There they are. Okay. Let's say I'm having a big party. I want 200 slices. And there they are. Okay. So there you go.